Now, on the 1975 release, are you in that picture? Yeah, I'm in the background. I'm here next to Levon, next to Richard, in the back row. I look, to me, a little spaced out and strange. I know we were all really high. It was a fantastic day. You know, everybody was just having a great time with this picture, and I was really happy to step into the picture and be part of it. I was working for the band then, my brother Bill and I both, uh, and it was the strangest sensation I felt uh, in describing it, it's like, it was like stepping into a mirror. There was this tableau of, of, uh, of characters and people, and frankly, people who I love and admire the most. Bob Dylan and his music means a lot to me in my life, always has. And to be able to be, have a chance to have worked for him and then step into the frame and come into the, uh, into the picture was, was absolutely phenomenal. It, it, I felt like my uh, head was spinning. People look at these pictures and say it's like a fly on the wall, but then I guess I was, uh, I was that fly, but I was on the wall too. I, it was pretty great. Point us out uh, where you are in the photo. Well, on the cover, this is me back here in the, in, in the fog. Here, uh, on the inside cover of the photo, I'm, I'm over here, standing here next to Robbie, with, uh, and he has uh, on his shoulders the uh, Angelo, the man who was in Freaks. This is the 1939 movie, that, which I just saw over Halloween. A fantastic character actor, uh, one of the people that was brought together for Reed Shoot. Um, so, yeah, we're, here's the wider view uh, of this whole basement scene. And Reed Miles, uh, it was a funny thing that he knew that there was a basement here. There was a bunch, a bit of joking about that. I think it was a place where romantic trysts happened. At the, that was the implication it gave that you could go down to the secret basement. So it had a, a kind of a, a vibe to it that was different than Big Pink again. It was a little pink, but not a little pink. Now, one of the really cool things was was that you know all of these. Dylan characters from different songs came together and they were in the same room. Right. You know, right. he'd written about them individually, not necessarily as a group or as a troupe, if you will, but here they are, they're all gathered, and the interaction between his characters must have been really fascinating. Yeah. They, Once it, they got into character. Right. Every, that's the thing. That, that was a remarkable thing to get into get into character, to put on a mask, to put on a costume. I guess everybody feels that a little bit on Halloween and every now and then those experiences come up, but it, it frees you up. And uh, this was an interesting difference. A year later, the, the, um, the uh, oh no, I'm just trying, I'm going to fumble here. What was the tour, the next tour that came up? The um, Rolling Thunder, Rolling Rolling Thunder, Thunder so, 75, yeah. 76. Okay, so let me just back up and say, yeah, this was, this was the vibe of this shoot felt a lot like what came uh, came to pass in the Rolling Thunder review, where Bob had makeup on, put on a white face, uh, people uh, dropped in and dropped out, and he really could really loosen up, you know, in terms of his stage persona. But this has always been an, an element uh, of Bob Dylan in his um, album photographs and in the way he poses with a hat, with a mask. On the 74 tour, we had masks there every night. You know, they didn't wear them though, but this was, this was really cutting loose and you, you, you could feel everybody, the wind in their sails, you know, and there's this wry look on Rick Banco's face, uh, uh, Levon on the, on the um, Levon was uh, only too capable of, you know, took up the, the, the dancer here, the ballerina. Yes. Um, uh, th there was a flirtation in my photographs between Rick Danko and the nun. Everybody was really having a lot of fun, and, and Bob's playing air mandolin, which I love. So it was really great. It, it, you know, everything, everything was happening there with the characters. It felt very much like Bob's life, Bob's songs and his characters uh, come to life.